Hello, hello, babies. How are you? My name is Simon Rare, and you're watching Simon Rare Tarot. And today I'm coming back with another pick a card reading. And today's pick a card reading, we're going to talk about what makes you lit. We're going to talk about what makes you lit. How are y'all? Next time I'll probably go. Damn, I gotta get my nails done Friday. I guess I can go get my nails done on Saturday. Or I can go biking on Saturday. I don't know. Cause I know the nails not gonna be cold the time I get out. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Alright, babies, let me see what we got going on. Let's see what makes you lit. For my pile number ones. What makes my pile number ones lit? We have trust. First of all, this crystal you got is a, a citrine. It is the it is the crystal of creativity. The crystal of creativity. Okay. Also, some people they was like they used to say on TikTok that it make people fall in love with you, but I don't really I don't believe that. Cause I, a, a guy actually gave me that crystal. A guy actually gave me that crystal when we were dating. I don't give a fuck about him. So and I don't see it ain't work. <laughs> So I'll just say that. Yeah. Trying to get some tunes, get the tunes together, and get the lights. But I should have did it before I pulled your car. My bad, babies. But I got this one already. Do we not? Yeah, we. You guys got the trust card though. So if you're a guy, you're definitely a guy's guy. If you're a girl, you're definitely a girl's girl. And what I mean by a girl's girl is like um. You know you have got you have girls that are what we call we like to call pick me's that basically do everything they do like to get a guy's attention to get men up to get male approval and all that type of shit. And then you have girls that's really do it for the girls. Like they don't really not to say and I'm not saying like you over like you overly feminist or nothing like that. But I'm saying like you don't. Uh, how do I say this? Somebody said I know what you're talking about. Like you know that one friend that you really can't invite nowhere because all they care about is like hanging out with the guys or whatever, or like trying to be cute for the guys or trying to do their hair and makeup for the guys or think that everything y'all have to, everything y'all, everything y'all do needs to um impress the guys. It's like that, right? But you're not like that. You're separate. So what um so because you don't have these petty tendencies, these pick me tendencies, these um tendencies to like um. What is it called? Um, um, what is it called? Not badger, not cater, pander. Pander to the opposite sex. People trust you. So people trust you. People trust your opinion. People trust their um, their um, significant others around you and stuff like that because they feel like you're a very trustworthy person. You're, you're nobody that they need to be in uh, competition with. And it's not that you're nobody that needs to be in competition with because you're not competition. I feel like you're you're definitely very beautiful, definitely very um, definitely very beautiful, 
definitely very um educated definitely all that all you all you definitely all that but at the same time it's like they just know that you're a genuine person and they like they don't um they don't have they don't they can't hate you it's like if somebody like you got the type of personality like if somebody hates you people are looking at the other person like how can you hate um kelsey like how can you hate sharon how can you hate ron like something's wrong with you if you hate them because they don't do anything to nobody you get what i'm saying like people trust trust you have you might be very charming some of you guys be leaning on thick i'm not gonna lie some of you guys probably use your charming capabilities to get on everybody's good side but you really like a i don't want to say a demon in disguise but like you ain't no angel you know what i'm saying like you be doing little stuff but people would never know because you're so charming you're so smart you're so kind you know what i'm saying but like um you'll be the one you know what i'm saying like you'll be the one like i feel like if everybody if, if the cops pulled up to the house and your mom and you like let's say you was a uh let's say you was if the cops put up to your house and your spouse or who if they're young your mom open the door and they're like oh we're looking for such and such they would be surprised like what are you looking for them for and like yeah because they beat somebody up on the side of the road of road rage they're like what well, they did what there's no way my person did that but whole time pound number one did that like you're gonna say but you would just never think it of you right you have generosity so you'll give to people even if you don't if you have less than them so people find what makes you lit is that even if you don't really got it like that like you're the definition of like i'll give you the shirt off my back if i had to like I, but i feel like this is more so not because you don't have boundaries so this would be a bad thing if you didn't have boundaries but i feel like this is a more thing of like you being humble like you're being you're very humble you're very um you're very humble you're very um You're not impressed by monetary things. You get what I'm saying? Because you know that it's more to life. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of people always say like, oh, people who aren't impressed by monetary things just never had nothing. Sometimes you can have everything in the world, but it's like at the end of the day, like some people just literally want to feel. Some people just literally want to be happy. Like it's not always about what kind of bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? So me personally, I always talk about how um, with... Uh, a lot of girls, like a lot of women, my a lot of women my age, they like Chanel bags, they like all this other stuff. Me, honestly, I don't like just cute bags, but like if I had to pick to spend my money, it would be on a trip. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm really not like I'm not really phased. Like, oh she got a Chanel bag. I'm like, why would you spend why are you spending damn near twenty thousand dollars on a purse? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like tw for twenty thousand dollars, you could have went on vacation. You could have went into the jungle and seen like the ruins in, in Thailand for a whole month. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, I think like that. Like I don't give a fuck about that person. Fuck that person. And I don't care. I don't think highly of you for you got that person. I think you're dumb. And I feel like you have that same mindset. You know what I'm saying? You have love. What people find lit, what's lit about you is you speak Af words of affirmation and encouragement. You might find that people call you and ask you for advice sometimes. Like yo, what should I do about this situation? Or show you tripping like how do i um how do i make it up to her how do i how do i do this how do i do that and you're at first you're confused but then you answer the question you're like i don't know why somebody would call me sorry because i know somebody can plan on me getting up but i got eczema so i have to get up and get my anti itch cream so <laughs> please don't comment on my window stop getting up stop drinking like i gotta be comfortable you know what i'm saying i'm not a robot this i don't edit my readings it's a real reading fast forward <laughs> but anyway uh yeah you're a genuine person you know what i'm saying so and you're very smart you just i feel like with you power number one you may have made a lot of mistakes in your life like we all have but like you kind of beat yourself up for us so and you're like why is somebody asking me for advice when i made x i made this mistake i made that mistake i did this wrong i did that wrong but honestly when it comes to life if you're not making mistakes you're not doing anything right and that's what you got to understand my power number one is like you get what i'm saying so mistakes are um things that go wrong in your life are really pretty much lessons you get what i'm saying so so what i what i what i feel um what i feel for that is um what i feel for that is i feel like you don't understand how smart you truly are because you feel like a smart person never goes through anything when in fact that's not the case a smart person goes through everything and they make it out you know what i'm saying that's what a smart person does they go through everything and they make it out look at me today preaching okay but you feel me let's get one more card and see what makes you lit don't be alarmed if you know this channel i play with fire on my channel because i'm trying to like this uh i need some smoke on here 
playlist. Somebody said something about playlists and dice. I don't really know what a dice is. So, you guys like dice power number one? Using the dice. I think I could do the playlist though. I could do playlists. What makes you lit is you're, you're the friend that doesn't let anything, like, I feel like, <sighs> even though you made mistakes, I feel like, and sometimes you hold yourself to a certain standard because you made the mistakes, I feel like you're also very good at, like, letting go. Like, you're you're a person that's like, okay, what's done is done, it's over, let me move forward. So, you'll, you'll end something, like, you're not, some, you're not going to stay in something that you know is a mistake, but you'll beat yourself up about the mistake. Like, for example, let's say you start dating somebody, you've seen all the red flags, boo, you've seen them all, but you was like, you know what, he cute, he cute, he cute. He cute, and I ain't getting on it. That means so, so when you talk to him, and then you end up, you know, you're and next thing you know, you're in a toxic, abusive relationship. You're like, oh my god, how did I get here? I got here because I was following the red flags. That was dumb. Let me leave. I'm still mad that I made that mistake, and I'm going to maybe punish myself for a little while because I made that mistake. But I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to leave. So you're very good at letting go of things that are not good for you. You guys, and I, I feel like that's how you always stay. That's why you always have good advice because you practice what you preach. So you're not going to tell somebody like, yeah, you shouldn't be messing with him because they're this and this and that. But let me uh turn this shit down because I don't know if this one uh I don't know if this one is uh uncopyrighted. Oh, it is. I thought it was because I I'm scared they're gonna copyright my video. But yeah, you're like I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna stand for it. I'm not going I'm not going for nah. That's what I mean. She's like I'm not going for nah. You know what I'm saying? But you will make the mistake because we're human. So it's not it's not as if you can't avoid. It's not you can't avoid it even if you wanted to. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what I see for you, part number one. If you're interested in a person reading that information in the description box below, if you're interested into my free video giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next reading. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're interested in joining the Patreon for $3.99 a month, where you can see all my 18 plus readings, that information in the description box below. Um, or you can join the second or the third tier where you can get free readings monthly. So that information is down below. But if not, just follow me on my social medias and I'll see you guys on the next reading. Oh, you know what I think, guys? I was here, like, rock the boat and came on up and kept singing. I feel like you're definitely before your time. I'm hearing you're before your time. Honesty. You you are real. You know how everybody always like, oh, I'm a real one. I'm a real one. I'm the realest. I'm the realest. You're really her. You're really him. Like, you're really a real one. You guys say you're a real, you're a real, you're a real one. That's what I can say. You are a real one. You only speak words. You only speak honest words. You only you tell. You're the type of friend that's going to tell you how it is. So if somebody wants to know like the truth about something, they're going to ask you because you're going to tell them how it is, and you're not going to sugarcoat it. You're not going to sugarcoat it at all. I also feel like some of you guys may not wear like um y'all may not wear a lot of makeup. Y'all may not um wear a lot of like extensions. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I don't think it's wrong with having extensions. I don't think it's wrong with makeup. I don't think that like that at all. But I, I'm about to walk off just for a little bit. I'm gonna break that. But I do think you got you like '90s fine. You know how people be like, "Oh, you '90s fine." Like I feel like you '90s fine. You definitely '90s fine. Okay, let's see. You 90s fine. So I feel like that's what people mean when they say that they feel like they know what they're getting when it comes to you. It's like no, um, it's no surprises. 
you might some of you guys might live in Miami or California. I don't know why that's so significant that you're real. I feel like I feel like some people um I feel like you might live in a place where a lot of people get either a lot of work done or their body or they're just not people are not used to seeing like real authentic people. You know what this reminds me of? You ever seen it was this guy, he was on TikTok and his teeth was like he had like regular like natural teeth and somebody had commented and they was like, Oh, your teeth is yellow and he was like, My teeth aren't yellow, they're like maybe off white, but these are what real teeth look like. You're so used to seeing veneers. And what I really thought about it, I looked at him like his teeth look normal. You know what I'm saying? It's not it, it wasn't jacked up, they just wasn't what we're used to seeing, which is veneers on people who have money they usually get fake teeth you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm saying like i feel like you may leave in a you might live in a place where a lot of people try to be a lot of like try to change themselves or whatever or because they have the funds to do so or just because it's in style so i'm feeling like maybe la miami maybe new york something like that you get what i'm saying your next car out is your next car out is support so what i see what i see with this support car so what I see here is a support. Uh, this is this is weird because I don't know how I want to say this. I feel like what makes you lit and like ah. Cause it's not, I don't want to say this is a bad trait and I don't want to say it's a good trait either, but what makes you lit is you're a player. You a player, player from the Himalayas. I feel like you know how to, if you're a girl, you definitely know how to, you're definitely the, the friend that they bring when they know it's going to be guys with money there because they know that you're going to spit, you want to make them spin it. You want to make, you want to make them give up that cash. You want to make sure everybody have a good time. You want all that, right? Um, if you a guy, you definitely get the girls. Like you can definitely get the girl. Like if y'all out, outside and y'all see a group of girls that y'all like, like you could definitely get them to come over. You know what I'm saying? Like you're somebody who can get people to give to you and get people to you want. So you're very convincing. And I feel like that's because you have that 90s old school beauty or just like a naturalness to you. And like, you're just naturally funny. I feel like some, some of you guys have a naturally pretty smile. All that you can just get, you can really get what you want out of people. And people just be lined up to give you stuff. And I feel like also because you have a good clean aura, a good clean aura and confidence. Because people don't understand, confidence can get you a lot of stuff. Confidence can get you so much stuff. Like just you being confident gets you a lot of stuff. You get what I'm saying? The next card we have is rest. So with the rest card, what I'm seeing is what makes you lit is you don't have to do too much. And that's going back to even like when, when I, with the honesty card, like you don't got to do too much. You don't have to, you don't have to wear the most. You don't have to do the most. You don't have to go the, go the most, but you don't have to, you don't have to do too much. Like everything for you is like real natural for real. You don't have to do too much. You real chill, real cool. You guys have like a chill, calm demeanor about you. It's like, it's like a swag. You get what I'm saying? It's like a swag. Like, um, I'm trying to think who got like a real chill, like swag. Um, who got a real chill swag in the industry? Oh, I can't think of nobody because everybody be hyper. But like you're just somebody who really be chilling. Like you, you're not somebody who wanna do all that yelling, do all that fussing, do all that fighting. Like you just be in a cut, and I feel like you just an overall vibe. Like it's giving me like, like high rise in the city with a blunt on the balcony, like type of vibe. Like, but that's your that's your vibe. Like you know what I'm saying? You like a uh, like a fresh uh, like a um like um a summer day. Like a no, it's like a summer night, like a summer night with a breeze. You get what I'm saying? Like that's how you feel, like a late night summer. You feel like a late night summer drive with a breeze falling through the window. You get what I'm saying? Going to go get your favorite food. That's what you feel like. That feel that sounds so good. I need one of those days. I need one of those days. Definitely. Let's see what we got. Last card. So your last card out is boundaries. So what am I seeing here? What makes you lit? The fact that you allow others to, you allow others to get close to you. 
you allow you know how to allow others to get close to you you know how to allow others to get to know you but yet they don't know anything about you it's like that's what i'm saying it's that you you are you a charming person you're very charming very um convincing and a lot of people like you a lot of people want to be your friends and stuff like that but like i would say so many people, a lot of people like you, but not everybody know you. Like, a lot of people like you, but not everybody know you. Like, a lot of people really couldn't tell you, like, anything personal about you. You know, um, I don't know if y'all be on social media, but it's this lady called Jai Nice. And I've been following her for so long. And she does, like, she, uh, she's a business owner. She started with a fashion line. And she went into cookbooks and stuff like that and, and all that type of stuff. And from her, she was like, um... One day she was like, she was saying something to one of her followers and she was like, you put, uh, you put, uh, she was like, how do you manage to like have all these fans? Uh, she was like, uh, how, why you put everybody in your business or something like that? She was like, well, what do y'all really know about me? And nobody could answer the question because she on social media all day, every day, but we don't know her man name. We don't even know John next her real name. We don't know where she lives. We don't know. We don't, really, we don't really know anything about her at all. We don't know nothing about her. So that's how, that's what she was saying. Like, she built a brand and nobody really knows nothing about her you get what i'm saying but she a leo too that's how it's leo's get down but i'm just saying like you're able to still live a full life on your own and have your own privacy and stuff like that but also make people feel like they're close to you make people feel like they're included that's why i say your ass is charming <laughs> you're very charming you get what i'm saying you give people an experience you're an experience you're not just somebody's friends you're people you're an experience so what makes you lit is you're somebody that's like you're not you're never really in no mess because nobody really know you to put you in no mess nobody really knows who you are like they know like they might know of you but they don't know who you are they don't know what you like they don't know where you be they don't know who you talk to they don't know any of this because they you just you keep it to yourself and you you keep to, you keep it to yourself and you um you um and all that so but yeah i don't know that's what i see for you pile number two but with that being said that is your reading i hope that it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in turn my free reading giveaway just leave a red heart in the comment section below if you want to join my 18 plus um community where you can see all my section my uh readings <laughs> that link in the description box below for 399 or you can get the top two tiers you get a free reading or two free monthly readings every single month but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next reading bye